Here we are, the Wedding of the Waters, one of the most famous places of the Amazon. This is where the black water meets the white water. I'd love to get in, but you can see the current's a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get to... So here we are in the Wedding of the Waters, where black meets white, and where Jason hit... Jason... Jason? Jason! Oh man, he's lost again. You think just jumping in a river that's 250 feet deep would be easy, but no, he has to go and sink or something. Oh well, this black water comes from way up there in the Rio Negro. And the white water comes way over there in the Andes. Two very different waters and they don't like each other. The water from the Rio Negro, this is coming down from the Guiana Shield, which is a per the place of, uh, very high up in northern part of South America. And it very slowly percolates down and makes its way down here. It moves very slowly, has no minerals in it. Because it's traveling so slowly, it picks up a lot of the rotting vegetation. And you can see it's like tea. In fact, it's exactly like tea. It floats down the river very, very slowly. And as it does so, it picks up heat from the Amazon sun. Now in comparison, this white water I'm transitioning into, it's coming down from the Andes. It's moving way faster. This is actually snow melt originally. It's colder, it's probably at least 10 degrees colder. And it's traveling much, much faster. So you'll see around me, vegetation that's swirling around, things like that, it is moving very quickly. Because it's moving so fast, it's picking up a lot of the sediment and a lot of debris and rushing it down the river. So because of that, these two rivers will travel side by side down the Amazon for up to 30 or 40 miles, depending on the season, riding down there and not mixing. Eventually they do, but it's amazing for how far these two water bodies travel side by side and won't mix. It's a great idea of just how different these waters are. 